The annotation scale is an optional scale factor that, when applied to text elements and certain other element types, changes their size according to the print scale. Without an annotation scale function, when you intend to print a design with a scale of 1 to 100, the text has to be placed 100 times larger in size than you want them to appear on paper. For example, if the text height on paper should be 5 millimeters, the text height of elements in the design should be set to 500 millimeters. When enabled, the annotation scale takes care of this by automatically applying the designated scale factor to the text. In this lesson, you will learn how to use annotation scale. There are two steps to setting up and using annotation scale. First, set the annotation scale for the model in the model properties via the models dialog. Second, turn on the annotation scale lock to apply the annotation scale when you place the text in the model. Applying the annotation scale will ensure that when the scaled print is created, annotations such as text are rendered at their correct size. The annotation scale can also be applied to dimensions, annotation cells, hatching and patterning, the sheet boundary in a sheet model, detailing symbols, tags, and cosmetic line styles. Continuing in annotationdesigns.dgn, open the ground floor plan model. This is a design model containing a 2D floor plan that will be printed with a scale of 1 to 100. An A-size border sheet is attached with a reversed scale factor of 100 to 1. Open the model's dialog and from the list select the ground floor plan design model. In the model's dialog toolbar, click the edit model properties icon. In the properties dialog, Set the annotation scale to 1 to 100. Select Place Text with the following tool settings. Method, By Origin, Annotation Scale, Enabled, Active Scale, 0, View Independent, Disabled. In the text editor, set the text style to Arial 10 mm and type in Ground Floor Plan. Place the text below the floor plan, but do not reset. With the text still attached to the cursor, Hold it still on the annotation scale lock icon in the tool settings and read the pop-up text. Currently, the annotation scale lock is on and new text elements are enlarged by a factor of 100. Temporarily disable the annotation scale lock and place the second text element in the design, then reset. The text is much too small now as its text height is 10 millimeters instead of 100 times 10 millimeters. Zoom in to view the small text, then undo the placement of the undersized text. Fit the view. It is a good practice to have the annotation scale lock always enabled, even when annotation scale is set to 1 to 1, as was used in the sheet model in the previous two exercises. In the event that you need to change the scale of the drawing using the 1 to 1 annotation scale, it allows you to quickly change the size of the all text. Simply change the annotation scale setting for the model. Let's try that out. Suppose you want to print the design with a print scale of 1 to 200 instead of 1 to 100, but the text should still be 10 millimeters on paper, two times larger than it is now. In the Models dialog, click Edit Model Properties and set the annotation scale to 1 to 200.
Note how the text in the design file is rescaled by a factor of 2. Reset the annotation scale for this model to 1 to 100. Select Save Settings in the Quick Access Toolbar or press Ctrl F. In this lesson, you learned how to use annotation scale. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.